so uh, next question is my video got stop so again I am writing same question in the next page so from four men's five women's how many ways how many types we can classify three men's or two women's so this is the question so are they said when we have a n that time we have to multiply when we have a r that time we have to do plus so 4 c plus 5 c so this will be 3 3 and here 4 into 3 by 3 plus 5 into 4 by 3 3 3 get cancelled this comes out to be 4 sorry this is 2 right no 3 and then two, two. sorry this is 2 2 moments 2 here 2 2 ones 2 twos 5 twos are 10 total 14 ways it will come so here we are writing only one number because they have given a sex that is a man and woman because of that reason here we are writing only one number if they are if they if they now if they have not mentioned any gen like any sex and if they may simply written the persons that time we have to take all the persons if they ask two persons then it will be uh, three into two if they ask three person then it will be three into two into one like that we just keep this one in the mind okay next from four men's five women's how many way how many times how many types we can classify three persons and and it must contain one woman okay so now we will write a 5c for women and 4c plus men <coughs> this will be into and here one woman and remaining two comes here plus so another possibility is so here the question is from four men's five women's how many times you can divide you can classify three persons and it must contain one woman okay now so in one possibility that is one woman in another possibility there is two women and one man that is comes like this and in, a, in another possibility it can be a three women's okay so now we have to do combination for these three things so it's very simple question so they have asked the total three persons we have to divide them it must contain one one woman so it can be one woman and two men or two men two women and one man or it can be three women also so in the question they did not mention how many they, they did not mention anything about the men that's why we are not taking about the men so in the question they have asked about women that's why we are taking a for women we are taking a combinations so 5 into 1 means it comes out to be 5 into 4 into 2 means 4 by 2 4 into 3 into by 2 this comes out to be 6 plus 5 by c, 5 by uh, 5 c means it come 5 into 4 by 2 10 into 4 ones are 4 only it comes 4 plus 5 into uh, 4 into 2 sorry 3 by 3 into 2 3 3 get cancelled for this I am doing 
two ones, two twos, it comes out to be 10. So total how much? 5 threes are 5 six are 30 plus 10 fours are 40 plus 10. Total 80 types we can divide. So this kind of question they may ask in examination point of view this is very simple from four men's five women's how many times how many times we can classify three persons and it must contain one woman so they did not mention about the men if they mention about the men then the way to calculate is different and the next question same same kind of question we have here from four men's five women's So how many times, how many types we can divide three persons and it must contain one man. So this is the question. So here we have 4C and 5C. So in the question they asked about the three persons and there should be one one man should be there. So in one possibility it should be one one sorry the question is uh made a mistake from four men, five women, how many times we can divide three persons and it must contain one man. at least one man at least you can say at least okay so in one possibility one man and two men in another possibility another sorry another another combination total three men three women so I, I think it's a little bit a little bit difficult to understand the question the way you understand the question so based on that you can you can calculate the you can get the correct answer in the question so total uh, four men and five women are there so in that three persons we have to classify divide or classify them and it must contain at least one man means only one man okay so in one possibility only one man is there okay and in another possibility all three women are there so if you do the answer for this 4 into 10 plus 10 answer will be 50 okay so this is uh, this is about the another type of problem okay now we have a another model so this model is very important so in this model they will be giving a one sentence one word so this is sensory word okay so in the question they may ask how many ways how many uh, how many ways you can arrange or we can arrange the letters arrange the letters in the century word so this is very simple so uh, in the part one I said that when we have n number of things we can arrange them in the n factorial times right so here how many words are how many letters are there one two three four five six seven so here n equals to seven so the, how many ways we can arrange seven factorial seven factorial means seven into six into five into four into three into two into one so if you do this one so you'll get answer so this is uh, one of the one of the easiest uh, this is one of the easiest uh, uh, problem so then we can also uh, do for article so how many words are there in article here also seven words are there the same answer we will get here and we have a leader yeah this is very very important so till now these two century and article whatever we have seen the letters are not repeat the rep letters are not repeated but in this way in this uh, uh, leader the e letter is repeated twice okay in that case what we will do so total how many letters six letters six factorial by so how many letters repeated that much factorial so here two letters are repeated that's what two factorial 
so answer will be 6 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 by 2 so says if you do this one uh, 3 2s are 6 6 4s are 24 24 6s are 720 yeah 720 by 2 answer will be 360 okay and then uh, we have a uh, engineer engineer so in this engineer e letter is repeating as well as n letter also repeating okay so total how many letters are there eight letters eight factorial by so e letter is repeated thrice means three factorial three times e letter repeated into and then uh, n letter repeated two times then two factorial so if you do the answer uh, like 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 by 3 into 2 into 1 2 into 1 so answer will come out to be 3600 3, 3, 3360 okay so these are not that difficult uh, problems but you need to remember what, what what things to do so then we still still now we'll take another question century in this word so now this is a different kind of this different kind of question in this question they may ask about the vowels and consonants okay they can give some word in that they talk about vowels and consonants so the question they may ask like this in the word century how many ways you can arrange how many ways you can arrange and condition is condition is the vowels always vowels are always together so this is the question so the century word is given so they are asking that how many ways you can arrange the century word the condition is the vowel sh always should be together so what we will do now so now we will write to all vowel sound one side consonants in other side e and u are vowels right so e u and remaining consonants we will write separately okay and these two take it as a one and this will be two three four five six okay so if you if you if they don't ask if they don't give this uh, um, condition the answer will be seven factorial if they give this condition because this is n number of n number of n number of things we can arrange in n number of times this principle n equals to n factorial so if they ask the condition then now here n equals to six because vowels are together so vowels will take it as a one only now six factorial into two factorial why two factorial because two vowel sounds are there so now if you do the answer this six factorial means 720 into 2 1440 okay so next uh, word police this word is given so in that same question how many ways we can arrange uh, this police uh, letters in the police so the condition is the vowel should be together I think it's spelling vowels vowels should be together okay now uh, how many uh, vowels are there here three vowels are there e i o so this will be p l c this will be one two three four now this will be four factorial into three factorial four factorial means 24 three factorial means six this comes out to be 144 otherwise you can simply do one thing that okay this is fine one more way is there vowels vowels number plus one factorial into consonant number plus one factorial so this is the principle 
so here three three vowel sound is there so three plus one four okay like that we have to do <coughs> so uh, you just remove, remove that you just follow this way only so you will not get confused i think this is the clear this this way is clear and next we have word called engineer So in this word, all vowels should be together, together. And this is very important because here three vowels are same and two vowels are, sorry, three vowels are same and uh, one vowel is different. Okay. First we write E, 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 and I, then remaining N okay sorry e e e i n n g r so what is left 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so now and uh, the question is there should be a uh, number of things will be should be same so this will be one number this will be uh, two this all will be one and this will be two this will be three four five so here total five factorial into four factorial why four factorial there are four oval sounds are there okay pi so whatever the problems we have done here in that the letter is not repeated here letter is not repeated here also letter is not repeated but here letter is repeated so consonant vowel sound three times repeated the same one so this is different this we will not take into the consonant n is repeated two times so two factorial so if you do this one you will get answer next we'll take leader So here, vowels are together. So E, A, E, L, D, R. So this is a total 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 factorial into, how many vowels are there? 3 vowels, 3 factorial. By, so this is repeated twice, so 2 factorial. The answer will comes out to be 72. So I hope uh, this is clear for you and uh, this is the uh, another kind of problems and now so till now whatever we have seen these are the combinations okay and if they ask a question combinations into perturbations into perturbations so these are also very simple only don't feel it's very difficult so in this uh, uh, model so how they will ask question i will tell you now so century so in this world how many times times we can arrange letters the condition is two vowels should not be together okay so till now whatever problems we have done in that case condition is two vowels should be together and here two vowel should not be together so now same just uh, divide uh, letters a u i o u these are the vowels right okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now so this will be 1 2 3 4 
five six so here what we will do that in this kind so the vowels should not be together okay so in this case we will take factorial for consonant factorial into permutations for this one permutations for uh, like uh, vowels okay so i think uh, if if i substitute these things then it will be clear so here consonants how many consonants are there five consonants so five factorial into p so how many total num so here n means total number of vowels this n equals total number of vowels so how many vowels are there two vowels sorry sorry sorry, sorry. two vowels is here and now together how many numbers are there with so when they ask the oval should not be together in that case first we'll talk we'll talk about the consonants consonant factorial then we'll talk we'll talk consonants plus ovals so this is for consonant plus oval this is only for the consonants so here when we are talking about consonants of plus ovals then it will be six okay if you do answer then you will get answer for that I am not solving this one you can solve it next police in this also same okay so here first take over the consonants P L C these are the consonants so 3 factorial into P total num total how many here P and vowels are of I E this one so this will be 3 and this will be 1 4 and 3 so this is the way to calculate so this is about the uh, combinations and uh, perturbations I hope uh, everything is clear <coughs> mm. so this is if you follow my videos uh, in the consonants and perturbations so it's very easy to uh, score the marks you know you need to follow anything also so I hope you like my video if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.